A pleasant good morning to you. Say a prayer for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But don't do that alone. Give some help. Don't just pray, give some help. And please understand uh, that you do not have to judge them. When there's a disaster or something catastrophic has happened, we have to pause and check ourselves and understand that to today may be them and tomorrow may be us. So say a prayer for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but don't just pray, give some help. Uh, listen, uh, Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 13 and verse four said something. He says, of those or those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? Jesus talking, he said, I tell you nay. So in other words, it is not for us to judge and say why that happened in St. Vincent and the Grandies. No, just help, just help. That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, then further, uh, Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter, uh, Mark chapter 14, verse seven, listen to what he says. He says, for ye have the poor with you always, and when save ye will, uh, ye may do them good. Now listen, you know who are poor? The people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines right now, they are in the category of poor. Let me remind us Grenadians of something. You know, 2004, Hurricane Ivan messed up our Isle of Spice. And we were in the category of poor then. And CARICOM countries, neighbors, all types of individuals sent in relief. I am saying, do not judge them and see them in the category of the poor and let us make sure we pour out. We have to inconvenience ourselves now so that they can be comfortable. Understand that. Uh, then further, further in, uh, we have to remember that under the fatherhood of God, there's only one brotherhood of mankind. That's how we have to look at the people in St. Vincent right now. They are our brothers and sisters and we need to assist. I end with this text. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 1 says, Let brotherly love continue. And it says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bonds uh, as uh, with them, and them which suffer adversity, and being yourselves also in the body. Listen, at this point in time, when we rally, and take money and water and the list of things there, you know the list of things that these people need. We have to pray and also give them some help because remember that these are our brothers and sisters who are in need. We were in the poor state in 2004. They are in the poor state now. So we are supposed to help them. When you help somebody, listen to this now. When you help somebody, you are giving them a chance uh, to put a smile on their face. Yeah, give them a chance to put a smile on their face by not only praying, yes, that is important, but give tangibly, material, and money also. God is going to bless you as you give cheerfully to help St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Our God and Father, thanks so much for giving us an opportunity to assist those individuals in St. Vincent right now. Father, I ask that you put love in our heart so that we can give and give and forget about what we are given, but just think about helping our brothers and sisters. Bless these people, I pray. Help them to be safe, I ask. Our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent, help them to be safe, I ask, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.